Hey everyone, it's Coach Tony Practice, and I'm going to share with you a little story because there's an important lesson that some of you um, can learn from and hopefully it will help. So when I was uh, a boy many, many years ago, young, like grade 7, 12 years old, um, in those days we were able to use the gym for recess or um, you know when you finished lunch early and it was 20 minutes or so. You could just use the gym. I remember one time I was, I picked up a basketball and I started dribbling. Uh, and I did it like Magic Johnson because he was my favorite player and I used to emulate or copy his style of dribbling, right? Um, and the coach, the basketball coach for the grade seven and 18 that I'd never met before or had any interactions with, he came up to me and he said, yo, what's your name? Like, who are you? That kind of thing. And I told him, I'm Tony, and he said, you know, I have never, ever seen a boy dribble a basketball like you. You need to come to the basketball tryouts. But whenever it was, he gave me the, the date, and he said, just be there because I'm telling you, you can handle a basketball, and I, I, I want to see you. I want to see you at the tryout. Please, you could make the team. Well, long story short, I didn't make the team. I went to the tryout, and he cut me. Uh, who knows why? They don't explain these things, but I was I was I wasn't part of the team. Now we fast forward to high school, grade nine. So going into the uh, tryout as a grade nine student, um, I felt reasonably confident, but I was kind of game. And check this out. I remember asking her, the teacher, the, the coach, uh, why I was cut, and her answer was, "You don't find the open man enough." And remember, I told you my favorite player was Najee Johnson. And all I did was emulate his style. As a playmaker, I used to take great pleasure. And I had a lot of skill in passing the ball and making plays for the teammates that were a part of my team. Whoever was on my squad, I would control the ball, I'd bring it up, and I would make plays specifically for them. That's all I did. So her feedback made no sense to me. But it is what it is, and I just wasn't part of the team. Now, we get to my grade 10 year, and I went to the tryouts again. Same, same coach that cut me last year, I didn't care. I showed up knowing that I was the best player on that court, okay? I had been playing two years up with the boys on the senior team uh, when, when they used to get together on Friday and Saturday nights at the local school gym, another, another school that would open up their gym on um, weekend nights, you pay the two bucks entry and you can play and they had a group. It was the boys on the senior team plus me and another um, uh, kid who would uh, be welcomed into that group. And so I was playing up to them, to their level, um, and definitely skilled enough to make the great 10 team. And I still got cut. Again. That coach who cut me in grade nine and 10, her father was the coach of the senior boys team. And he had seen me uh, mess around with the basketball um, during free time, intramurals or whatever it was. Um, and he told me, you have NBA dribbling skills. So remember grade seven, the coach who identified me and came up to me and said that, that type of thing. Never seen a boy dribble like me. Now the senior boys uh, coach telling me in grade 10, that you have NBA dribbling skills and still can't make a team. So I love basketball so much that I did not give up even still. Um, so that year, that summer, going into grade uh, 11 as a, a 16 year old now, I went to the Olympia basketball camp with real coaches. And I said, enough's enough. Like, I know I'm good. Now I'm just going to take this thing to the next level. I just cannot possibly be ignored and they're going to take me. So I went to that camp, had a good experience, came back, tried out, completely dominated. It happens to be a new coach and he picked me. Not only did he pick me, he named me captain and I was the starting point guard. And I don't think I subbed, he didn't sub me out very much at all during the entire season. I played almost every minute. And so there you have it. I did not give up. I loved the game so much and I believed in myself and a coach finally believed in me to make it all happen. 16 years old was the first year I played organized basketball and I was really good. 
for Tony Prakish of Confederation High School. Carolyn Waldo profiles the CGOH Pizza Hut Athlete of the Week. It just uh, gave me more drive to uh, push harder and uh, work on my game harder and just try to come back and prove to uh, the coaches I can fed who cut me that uh, they made a mistake and, and uh, prove that I, I can actually play the game. That's the story. Now it's about you. So never give up. If you love the game and you're willing to put in the time, the practice time, and just keep improving, keep working at it, it'll be your turn too, and you will have opportunity. Now I should say that it might not work out. Uh, that's part of uh, real life. Um, doing everything you can, and still, it just doesn't go your way. Trying so hard and for so long, um, you have to know how far you can push yourself and how much you're willing to put in and how much rejection you're willing to take. Uh, you have to be very mentally strong, okay, to be able to be told that you're not good enough and even if the reasons don't make sense, to just keep going. Um, and not, it's not made for everyone. And you have to be honest with yourself and know your skill set, know your potential, and know how far you're willing to go uh, before it works out for you. Uh, and if it doesn't, you move on. That's part of life, and you'll find something else. Okay? But hopefully, you'll get that chance uh, to prove yourself. Um, so be mentally strong. If you can, um, hopefully you have some encouraging, encouragement. Remember, I got cut many years and I didn't even have parental um, encouragement or support because my dad was never around. He didn't even ever watch me play basketball. Um, he didn't know, don't, knows nothing about basketball. And he just wasn't part of my life really. So uh, I still was able to overcome that too. Um, so you don't know. All you know is what you can put out and put in, I should say, in terms of time and see what comes out of it. If it doesn't work out, as I say, it doesn't work out. But for you younger ones, um, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, there's still opportunities, you're still young. Um, and if you believe in yourself and you love the game, keep working at it. I'm here in Toronto, I'm Coach Tony Practice. I'm here for you, reach out, and I'll do what I can to help. Okay, so take care of yourselves, stay strong, keep working at it, don't give up. Thank you.